Due to the graphic nature of this program, viewer discretion is advised. with the men and women of law enforcement. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. A lot of times we're dealing with people out here that they have nothing to lose. Uh, you know, they're going to go back to prison for 10, 15 years, so uh, they'll do anything to get away from the officer. They'll fight, uh, they'll shoot you, they'll stab you, they'll do whatever you have to do. And uh, our number one goal out here, uh, of course, is to get the bad guy and to fight crime, but our, our major goal is to go home at the end of the night to our families and be safe. Okay, we got a guy up here in front of one of our uh, known drug locations. Uh, he's standing out in the middle of the street. Uh, every time we go by, he's acting kind of squirrely. Uh, I'm gonna try to get up here and talk with him, see what he's doing. How you doing, guy? Not a lot, you mind speaking with me a second? What you got in your hand there? Huh? What you got in your hand? Left hand. I got my hand. Uh huh. Nothing. Open your hand up then for me. I got my hand. Huh? In my hand. You know, Zebra 211 got one on the ground. We're running towards Karaoke and Maddox. About Karaoke and Maddox. 10 4, we're running uh, westbound on Maddox. Black male, white shirt has a bandana. We're running into the park. We're going to be cutting northbound. Get on the ground now. Get on the ground. Ah, get your hands behind your back now. Get your hands behind your back now. Get your hands behind your back. Get your hands behind your back. Get your other hand. I'm back. Zebra 211, I got him in the park off of Maddox on the ground. Give him some help and by the tennis courts. I didn't know I got my man. Get your hand back. Stay there. Do not move. You got me? Yes, I do. I got you. Get your other hand back. Get your other hand back. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing it. What are you going to do? Go ahead and open it. Okay, hold him. Hold him right here. He just dropped. I'm sorry, turn on the zebra unit number at the south with him. Zebra to the... Okay, y'all keep covering each other. Zebra 18, Officer Logan, we're out with him. I'm 10 4 on zebra 218. Okay, he was running right here. He... Negative, everyone. This is it. You have your big flashlight? Zebra 11, can I get a unit to go by my car? It's parked on uh, Maddox, or I guess it's Allen right there above me. He dropped it, right? Somebody get with his car. Okay, I'm with the car on that. Yeah. He had a 
couple baggies in his right hand, or left hand, when we came up. Where's it going from? About 1,300. Ran all the way through here. You got a little light? Yeah, well, here, go ahead and use this. You can use mine, you know better than I do. Okay, run from here, or walk from here, straight down the middle of the street, directly to where my car is. Yeah, just when I seen the baggie, he turned and ran, so. He tried to run through here, but I don't guess he realized there's a telephone pole. Hey, Carolyn. 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 He had it in his right hand, or left hand. And I don't know if he dropped it, but check him. Open his. Open it. Open it. I got nothing. It's in there. I got nothing. Dude, I'm, I'm... That's it right there. I got nothing. No. I got nothing. Sorry, he ran. He went right there and then came back around. So. This one? Yeah, it's like trying to find a needle in a haystack. I'm gonna go ahead and just walk back. You ever been to the Tarrant County Jail? Yeah. Okay, you're not lying to me about your name, are you? No. We're gonna find out in just a second. Why are you kicking around in the back? I was fancy. Loosen it up a little bit. Calm down, man. Hey. Hey, I'm gonna loosen the cuffs up for you, man, okay? Let's eat chill for a minute. Which one is it? He's got skin grafts. Okay, which one is it, man? Huh? Talk to him. Yeah. Uh, we rolled up on him. Uh, he was standing out in the street. I uh, believe he was selling drugs. Uh, came up on him. He's standing here. Asked if I could talk to him. While well, I'm talking to him, I can look in his hand. He's got a, a baggie in there, and that's where they carry the narcotics around here. And uh, when I seen it, I couldn't grab him in time. And he was off and running, ran out of his shoes, caught him back up there in the field. So he's going to jail at least for evading. We think he ditched the dope somewhere in here, but he doesn't have it, and he's going to jail. So it's all good. I like the, the total different changes. I mean, one day, one minute, it could be slow. The next minute, you know, you're you're going all out trying to trying to figure out what's going on, or you know what's going on, trying to figure out who did it, stuff like that. It's just it's just constant change. It's not the same humdrum routine over and over again. It's it's different. You have your times when it's just dull and dead, and there's nothing going on. And you come in three weeks in a row and foot chases and it's just a madhouse. So that kind of keeps you going. Yeah, I just passed this bar down here and there's a guy standing out front flagging out a car. I've arrested him before for marijuana. He went up here and I think he went into the bar. He was just standing out front right here by the door. Got an ID on you? I don't know, Levin South, copy in the back out on call. I'm gonna be out on signal 5 on South Jennings. I'll be out with the white mountain boss for now. Do you have any weapons on you besides that big old knife? No, don't, don't, don't some, grab it. What's that? Pen knives, We're at in this pocket. Uh, no, I think they're over in this pocket. Over there in that pocket. What's this? Oh, my Edward. What are all these baggies for?
Where's the knife? It's in what pocket? I just don't want to get stabbed or killed. Well, they're not in these pockets. It, they're not in these, so it might be in here? No, I, was, I think I had two of them. You think you had two of them, but you don't know where. I may have lost one of them. You may have lost one of them? Mm -hmm. You may have lost one of them. Oh, hell, I don't want to lose your money. Here, you got money everywhere. What's this in your pants? You got any marijuana on you? You got a strong odor of marijuana on your shirt. Yeah. You do? Where's your marijuana? You have a joint? Keep your hands up. Where's the, where's the marijuana going to be? In this pocket? Well, I've got some in this pocket. Oh, you have more than just? Yeah. I like to get it in a pouch at a time. Oh! That ain't smoking tobacco. Well, there you go. There's your joint. This is going to be all your... Why don't we go over here where I have something to lay this all down on? Go ahead and walk over to the trunk of my car. Man, you just reek of marijuana. That's because you smoke it? Yes, I smoke it. The only pain relief I can get the doctors, they won't even prescribe it for me. The only thing I can find that actually relieves. What do you need pain relief for? That's sinus, uh, sinus infection sprayed out of my left sinus back in 84, and ever since then, I had nerve damage, which causes me to have headaches. I'm on the left side. Those are my uh, antihistamines. Haven't I arrested you before for possession of marijuana? Probably. Didn't you have almost like a, a quarter pound on you in, in both pockets? That's my Atlanta. You sure do carry a lot of marijuana for personal use. And you got all them baggies? What's that, for sandwiches, for lunch? Sometimes I find stuff along the street. So there's just baggies you found? Out of 21, out of 16. Going along the street, huh? Out of 16. That follow you got one. God, you need to just have a car. How you doing? All right. all this marijuana for? It's the only way I can make sure I don't lose it. Make sure you don't lose it? Yeah. So you carry it all? Yeah, and I stole it from me. Okay, I'm running out of trunk space here. Marijuana? Do you know about how much money you have on you? 560. 160? 160, 170. All right. How you doing, ma'am? I'm going to ask you to do is I'm going to go tag all this, but I'm going to do all the jail paperwork on them. This gentleman's going to jail for possession, two to four, right here. I've arrested him before in the past. He had more on him in the last time, but uh, this time a little bit less. He says he uses it for personal use for nerve damage problem to his sinus ducts or something like that, and uh, so. He thinks he's justified in having it and possessing it, but it may be legal other places around the world, but it's not legal right here, right now. I just got back from vacation uh, about uh, a few weeks ago. I have a, uh, well, actually, he's my best friend. He's like a brother to me. He, uh, him and his wife were blessed with winning the lottery, and uh, he was able to uh, take us out to uh, Hawaii, Maui, 
and uh, we had a really great time. Uh, and uh, you know, him winning that, you know, like I said, it's pretty much a blessing. It couldn't happen to a better guy. George two fourteen, can you copy TV? Go ahead. Gonna be at the Yuma. Sorry, get back in your car and close the door. I'm clear on Yuma. This uh, truck right here was uh, pulled over to the side of a known narcotic house we've been having a lot of problems with. Pulled away from the curb, didn't use a turn signal. The female was not wearing her seatbelt, so she was probably out of the vehicle. We're gonna have a talk with them. Good afternoon, sir. Can I see your driver's license yes, and proof of insurance, yes, please? I'm trying to dig it out for you here. That right there. Ma'am, hey, do me a favor. Can you step out of the truck, please? Ma'am, do me a favor. Why don't you stand over there for me, okay? How do you know this lady here, sir? I've known her for a long time. I've known Doreen. Ma'am, over there. I asked you to stand over there. I've known Doreen for a long time. Oh, okay. Have you? Uh, when she lived down on Arlington Street. She lives on Arlington Street? No, this was, I mean, years ago. Years. You live in Halton City, is that correct? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What brings you over here? Well, I just, you know, run. Now, let me explain something to you. I'm not going to lie to you. You know, I'm not going to, I'm not going to insult you by lying. To you. Okay, so what were you doing? We were over here looking. Looking for what? We were looking for drugs. I can't hear you. We were looking for drugs. What kind of drugs were you looking for? Uh, marijuana. Marijuana? I don't think they sell marijuana at that house you just pulled out of. You sure we're looking for something else? No. Like I said, if you're honest with me, I can yeah, be lenient. I mean, uh, Ma'am, I'm talking to him. I'll give you your turn in a second, okay? How long have you been with her today? Uh, Keep in mind, I'm going to ask her the same yeah, questions I'm asking much, you. Uh, Several hours. Several hours? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Is she a prostitute? Uh, probably, yeah. Probably? I, mean, I, I don't, I don't trick with really. I don't do Excuse that. me? I'm I gonna ask her the same thing now. Let me ask her, I don't, I don't, I don't do that. What, she just buy you dope for you or what? Well, every once in a while, yes, sir. What's that? Yes, sir. Yes, sir, every once in a while? Yeah. Would I have your consent to look inside your vehicle? Oh, yes, sir, yes, sir. Would you, would you mind stepping out, okay. Mr. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to stand right here while I interview her. And keep your hands where I can see them, okay? Yes, so what's going on this evening? I came, uh, came over here to buy, buy something, but they wouldn't sell me nothing because it's a white boy. What'd you come over here to buy? Some crack. Some crack? Mm -hmm. Why wouldn't they sell it to you? Because I was with a white boy. Because you were with what? A white boy. A white boy? Yeah. Is that he what they told you? Yeah, that's what they told me. They said, no, baby, baby, we don't, we don't, we don't know him. We don't know if he's the police or not. Are you a prostitute? Yes, sir. You are? Yes, sir. What were your intentions with uh, this gentleman over here? Nothing. He's just a friend. What's that? He's just a friend. He's, he's just not, a friend? Yes, okay, he's you're not tell a John. He's okay, not he's a John. telling he's telling me you are a prostitute, probably. You're telling me that you are a prostitute. Yes, sir. You're in his truck, you've been with him for three hours, and you just told me you were there to buy dope for him down the street. I didn't say I was there to buy dope for him. I went down there to buy dope for me. Oh, buy dope for yes, you. Sir. I apologize. Okay. okay. <laughs> and uh, you're telling me that you're not you weren't gonna pull a trick for him, is that right? No, oh, cool smoke crack too. He's not a trick. He's not a trick. Hold on to what I've got right now. Is there anything on your person I need no. to know about? No, sir. Nothing in your pockets no. or anything like that? No, sir. Just a minute. I want you to stand right there for me, all right? <clears throat> Give me a favor and stand over here where I can see you. Give me a favor. Stand with him over there while I search this truck. <clears throat> the uh, female told us that she was over there trying to buy some crack cocaine. This is what they use to uh, filter the uh, crack cocaine. They stick this inside the uh, glass pipe, then they put the crack cocaine in there, and they use this uh, push rod to push in the Brillo here. Uh, they use this as a filter. So uh, then again, might be a good chance we might be able to find some uh, crack cocaine in here. Is this your blue bag? No, sir. Who does it belong to? Uh, I'm not sure, sir. You don't know who it belongs to? Uh, Did you not tell me this was your truck? No, sir, it's my truck, but I don't know who Okay, your truck and this bag. It's in your truck, right? Yes, sir. And you don't know who it belongs to? No, sir. I just it Somebody put it in there and asked it down. Somebody put it in there. Yes, sir. I, I, so it would be okay to open it up? I didn't, I didn't even look at the bag, officer. Uh-huh. Go ahead. Go 
got somebody's ID in here. Feel it. Well, you got all kinds of IDs in here. Social security cards, driver licenses, three different people. Well, this is your yeah. truck. Yes, sir. It was in my truck. I agree with that. George, that thing go ahead. I didn't put it in there. And I'd take it down there. Somebody will claim it. Coming to number 29. You know, it's... Your story's kind of, you know, still kind of confusing, man. You've got you know, all different kinds of IDs back there. I swear to You're God. driving around with a prostitute. You don't. You know who put it in there telling me because I don't. You know, and, um, you know, you're with, God, prosti know. you're with a known prostitute. Yes, you told me she was. Yes, sir. She said she's a prostitute. Yes, sir. But I don't, I don't do that. Really. Well, you got to understand where I'm coming from. Oh, yeah, With I the understand. totality of the circumstances sure. of what's going on. Yeah, I understand. Okay? Yeah. I'm going to issue a citation for criminal intent prostitution. Oh, it's man. like a custodial arrest is what it is. You understand? And, ma'am, I'm going to give you a ticket for manifestation of prostitution. You understand? But I don't, I don't do nothing with it. Sir, if you yeah. have any questions, you can set it for court, and we'll deal with it then, okay? Right. Right. I want you both to go ahead and have a seat in there and until they shoot you those citations, all right? Yes, sir. And uh, don't be coming back up here trying to buy any more dope. You don't have to worry. You understand? You will never see me up here again. All right, I go ahead and have a seat. She's a prostitute, and she was attempting to buy dope also, but they wouldn't sell her any dope because she was with the white guy, and they thought he might have been a police officer undercover. So uh, he gave me consent to search, but we found a lot of drug paraphernalia in there, you know, push rods, steel wool, that kind of thing. Didn't find anything else, but... Uh, we're just going to go ahead and uh, issue those two citations to him. Right. I can say he got lucky. He's lucky he didn't buy any dope today because if he did, he would have been under arrest for possession of controlled substance. 132 in Bush. I've got him at gunpoint. Okay, gunpoint. 132 in Bush. Covers code 3. Thanks, Ted. David 25, 14, 10, transmit on tech 2. Okay, we'll still send a code 3.